10 tips and tricks to help you improve your upper register on the trumpet. And the best part, none of these hacks will involve you getting a new mouthpiece. Instead, we'll be talking about techniques you can use to make the most out of the equipment that you already have. By the way, my name is Matt Brockman. I'm a former member of the US Army Band. Now I make trumpet content full time to help you become a better trumpet player. If you watch this video all the way to the end, I'll be giving you access to a secret bonus video. But that's only if you watch all the way to the end. All right, now let's get started with the first hack. Hack number one, focus on proper breathing. This one's gonna sound kind controversial and that's really what I'm here for because if I said the same thing as everyone else then you wouldn't watch my videos. A big problem with too many trumpet players is that they breathe too gosh darn low. I call it taking a tuba breath. Something that I learned from studying opera singers is that soprano singers need to take a soprano breath if they want maximum tone and resonance in their range. Baritone singers need to take a different kind of a breath. Trumpet is a soprano instrument so if we want better control in our register, the soprano register, we need to breathe more like a soprano opera singer and less like a tuba player. This will also especially help with the upper register. Hack number two, play with a proper embouchure. This is another big one. If I have a student who has trouble with the upper register, nine times out of 10, it's related to the embouchure. Remember, sound comes from the vibrations of the embouchure. It does not come from the air itself. And especially with higher notes, higher pitches consist of higher frequencies, therefore faster vibrations in the sound waves. But if the lips are set up in a way that restricts the vibrations of the lips, then either the high notes don't happen at all, or they don't happen with a good sound, it's thin and pinched off, or it happens but it's not consistent, and it's a total crapshoot, or it happens but our endurance suffers and we don't last too long. Playing with a bad embouchure is like driving a car that only goes five miles to the gallon. You have to burn more gas to move the car forward. And that's why so many trumpet players need to overblow is because their embouchure is inefficient. So before you even think about buying a new mouthpiece in order to help with your high notes, make sure that your embouchure is fixed first. Hack number three, practice your range. This one may seem obvious, but many players don't do it at all, or they don't do it enough. Range building exercises are designed to help improve a trumpet player's range, which refers to the range of notes that can be played with ease and accuracy. Practicing these exercises can help a player develop a stronger and more flexible embouchure, which is the shape of the lips and mouth when playing the trumpet. A strong and flexible embouchure allows the player to more easily play high and low notes, as well as navigate the spaces in between. In addition, range building exercises can also help to improve breath control, which is essential for playing high notes on the trumpet. By developing a strong and consistent breath, a player will be able to maintain a consistent and steady sound, even when playing higher pitches. Overall, practicing range building exercises can help the player build the strength and skills necessary to play high notes on the trumpet with ease and accuracy, leading to a more confident and proficient performance. And if you're looking for a method book filled with range building exercises, there's a lot of great options. But to give you one of them, I recommend High Notes by Alan Vizzuti. Hack number four, use a metronome. Using a metronome can be extremely beneficial for improving your trumpet playing, especially when it comes to the high notes. And here's a few reasons why. Number one, rhythm and timing. A metronome provides a consistent pulse that can help you improve your timing and rhythm. This is especially important when playing high notes, as maintaining a steady tempo and rhythm can help you stay in control of your sound and technique. Number two, improving accuracy. By practicing with a metronome, you can work on playing each note with precise time and duration. This can help you develop a more consistent and accurate sound, which is crucial when playing high notes, as even small discrepancies in time and duration can have a big impact on the overall sound. Number three, building endurance. Playing high notes requires a lot of stamina and endurance, and using a metronome can help you build up these skills over time. By gradually increasing the tempo as you get comfortable with a particular passage, you can train your muscles to perform at a higher level for longer periods of time. Overall, using a metronome can help you improve your rhythm, accuracy, and endurance, which are all crucial skills for playing high notes on the trumpet, especially in an actual musical setting. By incorporating metronome practice into your routine, you can take your trumpet playing to the next level. Hack number five, play with proper posture. Playing with proper posture is important for playing the trumpet for a few reasons. First, good posture helps to promote proper breathing techniques. When you stand or sit up straight, it allows your lungs to fully expand and fill with air, which is essential for producing full and rich sound on the trumpet, especially in the high register. Poor posture, on the other hand, can restrict your breathing and make it more difficult to produce a strong and clear sound. In addition to improving your breathing, proper posture also helps with proper mouthpiece placement and lip tension. When you hold the trumpet in the correct position, it allows you to bring the mouthpiece to your lips in the most efficient way possible. This can help you produce a more consistent sound and make it easier to play high notes. Finally, good posture helps you maintain proper hand and finger placement on the trumpet. When you are standing or sitting up straight, it allows you to reach the keys and vowels more easily. It allows you to maintain proper hand and finger position. This can make it easier to play fast passages and help you achieve a greater level of control over your sound. Overall, playing with proper posture is an important aspect for playing the trumpet, and it can have a significant impact on your ability to play high notes and play with a rich and full sound. By standing or sitting up straight and maintaining a good posture, you can improve your breathing, mouthpiece placement, and hand and fingering placement, all of which are essential 
essential for proper trumpet playing. Hack number six, warm up before you play. It is important to take a few minutes to warm up your lips and muscles before you start playing, especially if you're gonna be working on your upper register. A few easy scales and long tones can make a big difference. Properly warming up before playing the trumpet can make a big difference. And here's a few reasons why. Number one, improved range. A warm up routine can help loosen up the lips and facial muscles, allowing you to play high notes more easily. Number two, better sound quality. A warm up can help you achieve a more consistent sound, as it allows you to establish a good embouchure, which is the way you shape your lips to produce a good sound on the trumpet, as well as breath control. Number three, reduce risk of injury. Playing the trumpet requires a lot of physical effort, especially when you're playing high notes. Warm ups can help prepare the muscles and joints for the demands of trumpet playing, reducing the risk of injury. Number four, increased endurance. A warm up routine can help improve your stamina, allowing you to play longer without getting tired. Overall, a warm up is an essential part of any trumpet player's routine. By taking the time to properly warm up before playing, you can improve your range, sound quality, reduce the risk of injury, and improve your endurance. Hack number seven, use a mirror. Watching yourself play in a mirror can help you identify any issues in your technique and make necessary adjustments. Pay special attention to your mouth and lips as you play. Using a mirror while practicing on the trumpet can be an effective tool for improving your playing. And here's a few reasons why. Number one, improve posture and technique. By watching yourself in the mirror, you can make sure that your posture is correct and that you're using proper technique. This includes things like the position of your lips, the angle of your trumpet, and the placement of your fingering on the valves. Number two, increased awareness. Seeing yourself playing in the mirror can help you become more aware of any habits or issues that may be getting in the way of your playing. For example, you might notice that you tense up when you play high notes, or you have extra movements of the facial muscles that don't need to be there. Number three, enhanced focus. Practicing with the mirror can help you stay focused and motivated, as you can see your progress in areas of improvement. And number four, improved performance. By practicing with a mirror, you can develop a better sense of how you look and sound to an audience. This can help you feel more confident and relaxed when performing in front of others. Overall, using a mirror when practicing the trumpet can be a helpful tool for improving your posture, technique, awareness, focus, and performance. Hack number eight, take breaks. Playing for long periods of time can be tough on your lips, so make sure that you're taking breaks to give them a chance to rest. A few minutes of rest can make a big difference in your playing. Taking breaks while playing the trumpet can be beneficial for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it allows the musician to rest and recharge, both physically and mentally. Playing the trumpet requires a lot of physical effort but can also be mentally demanding, so taking breaks can help to prevent fatigue and burnout. In addition, taking breaks can also help to improve overall performance. When we play continuously for long periods of time, it can be easy to fall into bad habits or develop muscle tension which can negatively impact our playing. Taking breaks gives us a chance to rest and refocus, allowing us to approach our playing with a fresh perspective and a relaxed, open mind. Finally, taking breaks can also help to prevent injury. Overuse injuries, such as tendonitis, can occur when we play for extended periods of time without rest. By taking breaks, we allow our muscles and joints time to recover and prevent these types of injuries from occurring. In short, taking breaks while playing the trumpet can help prevent fatigue, improve performance, and prevent injury. It's important to listen to our bodies and take breaks as needed in order to maintain optical, physical, and mental health while playing this demanding instrument. One way to think about the importance of taking breaks while playing the trumpet is to consider the analogy of lifting weights. When we lift weights, we don't do an entire workout without taking any breaks. Instead, we break up our workout into sets and rest for a few minutes in between each set. This allows our muscles to recover and it helps to prevent fatigue and injury. In a similar way, taking breaks while playing the trumpet allows our muscles and joints to rest and recover, helping to prevent fatigue and overuse injuries. Just as we wouldn't try to lift the same weight throughout the entire workout without taking any breaks. We shouldn't try to play the trumpet for long periods of time without taking any breaks to rest and recharge. By taking breaks as needed, we can maintain our physical and mental health while playing this demanding instrument. Hack number nine, get feedback. Asking a teacher or experienced player for feedback can be a great way to identify any issues with your technique and find ways to improve. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Getting feedback for others can be incredibly helpful when improving your trumpet playing. Here's a few reasons why. Number one, objectivity. It can be difficult to be objective about your own playing, especially if you are emotionally invested in the music. Receiving feedback from others can help provide you with a fresh perspective and help you identify areas of improvement that you may have missed. Number two, specificity. When you practice on your own, it can be hard to know exactly what you're doing right or wrong. Receiving feedback from others allows you to get specific, targeted advice on what to work on, rather than just practicing blindly and hoping for the best. And confidence. Getting positive feedback from others can help boost your confidence and help you feel more comfortable when performing in front of others. This can translate to higher quality of playing and a greater sense of enjoyment when you're performing. Number four, perspective. Receiving feedback from others can also help you understand how your playing is perceived by others. This can be particularly helpful for developing a mature 
mature, well-rounded approach to playing the trumpet. Overall, getting feedback from others can be a valuable tool for improving your trumpet playing and taking your skills to the next level. Whether you're seeking feedback from a teacher, mentor, or fellow musician, it is always worth considering as a way to grow and develop as a player. Hack number 10, practice regularly. Practicing regularly is important for achieving high notes on the trumpet for a variety of reasons. First, practicing helps to build and strengthen the muscles needed for proper trumpet technique, including the embouchure muscles and the lips and facial muscles. These muscles need to be strong and precise in order to produce clear and accurate high notes. Additionally, practice helps to build endurance and control, which are both important for playing high notes. When you practice, you can work on gradually increasing the range and duration of your high notes, building up your stamina and control over time. Finally, practicing regularly helps to develop good practice habits and a consistent routine, which are key to making good progress on the trumpet. And as the saying goes, if you miss a day of practice, you will know. If you miss two days, your teacher will know. If you miss three days, everyone will know. In other words, practicing consistently is essential for maintaining and improving your skills on the trumpet. And if you're looking for more thorough advice on how to play in the high register with ease, I put together a free 45 minute training on how you can play with a good sound in all registers of the instrument, using as little effort as possible and without having to change your gear. Check out the description of this video for that free class. Hope these tips were helpful. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment letting me know if you found these tips helpful. If you like this video, check out this next video on 10 common trumpet mistakes and how to fix them. See you in the next one.